that this is pretty special to me just to, to know that you're racing on a track that so many legends are raced on beforehand guys like Lounsey and Glenn Seaton and Murphy and guys like that and just the way the the race never unfolds the way you mentally see it happening so at the end of the day that the track always makes an epic race no matter if it's a sprint race or or the 1000. It's been uh, many moons since I won Bathurst in, in 14 but for me it was the best achievement I've ever had in any race so to win that is like no other feeling that you have in the world when you know you're racing supercars and all you dream about is standing on the top step of that that podium there at Bathurst and seeing the sea of people that come down to it at the end a thousand kilometers of racing and I've always said that 99 things can go wrong but one thing can go right so it's yeah, it's just coming back every year is just that 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 feeling of winning that awesome awesome track and race Going to 15 from where we were in 14, knowing that you won it the year before, and that you, there's no reason why you couldn't win it the year after. And for me, really kind of involved in my accident a lot because the pressure and I guess the the mentality that, that you, sh you should be able to win it again just kind of overcome me quite early in my career. So just made the smallest mistake and definitely impacted me as a more of a confidence level thing than, than anything else, you know, body parts and bones and, and uh, ligaments and all that stuff can heal over time. But, um, you know, the confidence hit took a little bit for me as a, as a driver. I think the, the, the biggest thing I've probably struggled with more mentally over the last couple of years is just how people perceive you. You know, you're always going to have good fans always back you on your good or bad days, but then you've also got fans of different manufacturers or, or different drivers that sometimes take it a bit too far online, on, on social and stuff like that. And to say that it doesn't uh, affect you would uh, would be lying because you kind of feel like they've, uh, they're have they judging you before they really know you. So um, at the end of the day, every, every driver is racing out there on the limit and sometimes you make mistakes and you run into someone else's favourite driver and I don't think... Um, People deserve to get a, a grilling over that or, or um, say some of the stuff that they say about you. So I guess it's part of the game. I guess it's part of the society we're in at the moment. And you know, all I can do is just try to be true to myself and just um, yeah, know, know who I am. I wanted to actually get a motorbike when I was six years old, but mum absolutely flipped out when I came home from school and basically thought that I was gonna break a heap of bones and hurt myself very badly. So. In the heat of the moment, she said um, four wheels or no wheels. And then uh, dad kind of had a light bulb moment and um, heard about this thing called go-karting and went down, checked it out one weekend and they uh, chucked me in for a few laps in a practice session. And then the very following weekend, we went and bought our first second-hand go-kart. So it was, uh, all happened very quickly, but um, yeah, glad it paid off. Baptist is so special because it's uh, part of the Supercars Championship. It is probably the hardest race to win throughout the year in, in the calendar. And I remember when I was at the, the mountain as a 12 year old kid, watching the races and hearing some legendary names race around it, you, you never actually thought that one day you would be racing there as well. When you're in the car, for me, it's just about, you know, hitting your marks and, and um, you know, keeping your eye on what the car's doing. It obviously degrades over a stint length. The, the car gets lighter, but the tires get worse. So. It's all about just trying to extract every bit of speed out of the car for the condition of the car. So it's never always going to be able to, to maintain its lap time. It's always going to drop at some point, but how you know you manage that as the driver is always a thing. The best part about being a supercar driver is just all the, the little kids that you, know, you see at the racetrack and when they're wearing your shirt or you see them, even if it's a, a rival shirt or anything, but just to see their passion um, in something they love. And, it's, uh, for me, that's, that's probably the, the best part. Been pretty lucky this year. Had a couple of cruisy weeks from the last round into this one, so just ramped up the training a little bit, but, but tried not to break myself at the same time. So we'll see, uh, see if it's enough. You're driving to Bathurst now, and you've got all the hopes of winning the race, but uh, if you win it or lose it, I guess that the week has uh, just a, an awesome experience for me. In, Seeing how many fans turn up, it always blows your, your mind how many people camp there across the week. Just just driving that track is, is, is cool. So I don't know what the results hold, but that's what we'll find out by Sunday night. I feel like you learn something new every every year here. It's always exciting to come here and really thinking too much just about how much fun it's going to be. Get out there in the first session, 
um, scare yourself a little bit again all over in the first session until you build up the speed and um, just enjoy it. You know, it's such a such a cool track.